I'm in Salad and I saw Bullet Train. It is directed by David Letch. And this is a pretty recent movie. And my exposure to this movie prior to this, very little, actually almost none. So if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. Spoilers ahead. So the movie starts, uh, we're following Ladybug. Cute name, by the way. Uh, we're in Japan, Ladybug is, uh, being called by what seems to be like a woman's voice. Hey, you got to do this operation. Okay, I'll do this operation. By the way, the person that was supposed to do your operation before and he kind of dipped out, he called out uh, sick. I really like all the, the banting pretty much it's early on. You got Ladybug's like, ugh, calling out sick. What is this, high school? They're like, ah, this is going to be a great movie already. All right, so he goes to this locker that the, the voice on the phone instructs him to go. The voice is like, hey, take the gun. He's like, nah, man, I've been in uh, therapy and I don't do violence no more. You know what happened whenever I do violence, whenever I have a gun? Accidental deaths happen. I do not want that at all. He doesn't take the gun, but he takes some firecrackers, some of uh, the sleeping potion. Oh, well, it's not like a potion, it's much like, like crystals in like a very small jar. And I'm like, okay, cool, awesome. And he has a cool fanny pack and he gets on the train. And then we're also following Lemon and Tangerine. They are uh, brothers and I love their dynamic because Lemon's really obsessed with Thomas the train engine. And he compares pretty much everyone he meets to like one of the trains. And he's like, all right, Thomas the train engine is specifically to read people. It's teaching you about people, the types of people that they exist. It taught me very deeply how people are. And I'm just like, oh, you're so obsessed with trains. Uh, you must be at least a little autistic, just a little bit. As an autistic person, if you love trains, I'm deeming you autistic. I have a thing like that personally. It's Kero Gunso. I know pretty much all the main characters, their personalities, and I could be like, hey, you, uh, you're this character, like Kero or something. That's my autism, uh, that's my autistic focus. That's, I compare everyone to Kero Gunso characters. So Ladybug, he's also being sent uh, to grab a briefcase with a train sticker on it, and as soon as he grabs the briefcase with the train sticker on it, we also see him like passing, just like more characters are introduced. We also have uh, Prince, who is a, a, a young lady. She's wearing all pink. And it seems like uh, based on the description that she gives why she got her name, it seems like her dad wanted a boy. We also got uh, what seems to be a, a father of a son whose son got pushed off of a building and that son is in the hospital. So the father of that son, he's just called the father in this. He's like, all right, I really got to go get revenge on whoever pushed my son off the building. So that's why he's with Prince, the prince. And the way that the story talks about like all the details, it's very like unfoldy. It's like, all right, well, you get one detail. Okay, so this one detail that explains why they're here, and that explains why they know each other because they were in this same situation in the past. Like, for example, Lemon and Tangerine uh, did a, a mass murder in Bolivia where they killed 17 people, and the way that they describe how many people they've killed, it's, it's a fun flashback where it's like, all right, so uh, this is uh, how many people we killed, and then bam, 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 and while they're killing, the people they're counting they just you know, like immediately just like four like to the camera and everything I'm like this is awesome all right i'm so hyped and plus lemon and tangerine have uh, a person of interest and they're related to uh this what seems to be the white death he's uh they're being asked to take this uh, person and the briefcase and deliver it safely to Kyoto and 
As soon as they realize that the briefcase is missing, after they get a call, Hey, do you have the briefcase? Uh, yeah, says Tangerine. Meanwhile, Lemon's like freaking out, like, where's the briefcase? And they both go to like the briefcase room. And they spend like a few minutes in the briefcase room. It's kind of arguing, being like, oh no, what's happened to the briefcase? And then they come back, and the person that they're supposed to keep alive is dead. He's got like, blood in his eyes. It's like, whoa, that's kind of spooky. Well, let's go back to Ladybug. Now he has the briefcase, is being instructed to go off the train. He about, he's about to get off the train when just this one random guy, he's in a white tuxedo, it seems to be, I think it's blood, honestly, on his suit. And he like goes to stab him and then bam, quick cutaway to what everyone else is doing. They're still freaking out. They kind of have to hide the fact that there's a, there's a dead guy next to them, which is honestly very funny. But then we get a pan uh, cut back to, oh, what is this guy? Who is this guy that's stabbing Ladybug? Well, he's called the Wolf. Uh, turns out that he had a uh, wedding. He had a love. Uh, I say me Corazon because he says me Corazon to his love at the wedding. And then while he's at this wedding, like I've got a bunch of people just like barfing up blood, bleeding, uh, bleeding from their eyes, and it's, it's a tragic situation. And so, he's like, all right, I gotta find out who did this. I gotta go on that bullet train, and as soon as I see a person on the bullet train, the person that I'm looking for, I'm gonna stab him, get into a very stabby, stabby fight. And luckily, Ladybug is very good at uh, fighting with a briefcase. And I'm like very impressed. He's like dodging all the knife, the knife swings, yeah, you're dying, ah, no, I don't want to die, I'm going to protect myself with the briefcase. And then, epic move, <sighs> amazingly, the wolf throws the knife at the briefcase, and then the knife ricochets into his heart, and then he says, Mi corazon, I'm like, ah, oh, that's beautiful, oh my goodness, you, you said the same thing. With the, with the past five minutes, awesome, now you're dead, and now Ladybug feels really bad about it. He's like, oh, I killed somebody, no. Well, I guess we're gonna go to first class, and I'm gonna disguise you as somebody who fell asleep while drinking. And I'm like, oh boy, who will find these this dead body? Will anyone find this dead body? Well, now it's time for Ladybug to figure out, well, okay, this guy is trying to kill me. And we also have uh, Tangerine and Lemon. They're like, all right, we got to find the briefcase. And Ladybug has lost the briefcase. He doesn't know where it went. So he's also trying to find the briefcase. But guess who has the briefcase? The prince. And I'm like, whoa, that's so wacky. She just looks like an innocent girl. And we got uh, Lemon be like, hey, do you know where the, the briefcase is? She's like, oh, no, no, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know where, I don't know where she is at all. And honest, I don't know where the briefcase is at all. She gives me the heebie-jeebies because she goes to the bathroom uh, with uh, the father of the son. By the way, the reason why she hasn't died yet, even though the father has a gun, is because she explains eloquently that the gun has a bomb in it and she's also putting a bomb in the briefcase. And I'm just like, whoa, she's like, She's got like a hidden power levels. She's able to disguise herself. She's able to be like, oh, amazing. Uh, I could just be a, like a, a little girl and no one will suspect a thing. Meanwhile, she's like all cutting and all that fun jazz. And also she has somebody, just like some guy next to the son who's in the hospital. And she's like, well, if you kill me and he doesn't hear back from me, then I'm going, he's going to kill that son. And I'm like, that's a really valid threat. Oh man, I would be, I wouldn't want to uh, mess with her or any of her plans. And I'm just like, man, what is her ultimate reason for being here? I'm very fascinated because everyone has like some sort of reason for being here. And for her, it's not like immediately clear yet, but I still uh, really enjoy all the, the hijinks. There's also, uh, speaking of hijinks, uh, there is a stuffed, I want to say stuffed, it's a costume. Somebody's like in a, uh, a costume, looks like a cat costume, very big, 
and I'm like, whoa, what is the, what is that guy doing here? That's a little sus. I wouldn't quite want to trust that person either. And also, we're at the point where now we have Ladybug and Lemon are like, all right, well, I am, uh, where's the briefcase? Don't know. Both of them are like, where's the briefcase? Don't know. But you know what's also fun about this? They have a whole, like, a battle, I, like, where they punch and kick and they have a gun that isn't being shot, by the way, trying not to shoot the gun while we're in the quiet car. And so they have to, like, fight as quietly as possible. I'm like, whoa, this is awesome. I should also mention that all of the characters have, like, a brief backstory as to, like, why they're there. Just a little, just gives them a little bit of backstory. And pretty much all of these, like, main characters are introduced. And I enjoyed it. Like, awesome. There's just so much going on. There's this, all this stuff is going on. It's like, I, I constantly was like, wow, this is like a movie with like so many things happening. Am I watching three movies at once? Well, got Ladybug and Lemon. Uh, they have a big old fight, but you know who wins? Ladybug. And then Ladybug puts the sleep potion thing in the Fiji water. The Fiji water is a very key component to the story. You gotta drink Fiji unless, you know, it has sleep stuff in it. I'm like, oh, who's gonna drink that Fiji water? Well, Ladybug goes, and you also have Tangerine try to look for him. There's a there's a huge distraction uh, set up. Uh, first, Ladybug is like, all right, I need to kill some time. I'm gonna jam the door with a golf club, which is super fun. But you, you know what he doesn't know is there until it's too late? There's a snake there. The snake is called a boom slang. It's very venomous. And if it bites you, you pretty much bleed from your eyes. Unlike in real life, where it's a slow acting venom. But I honestly like the fact that this snake's venom can kill you instantly. Cause it's like, ooh, there's a, there's a moment where he goes up to the first class and the snake is just kind of like there for most of the movie after this point, just kind of slithering around. I'm like, who's gonna get bit by the snake? Oh no, the snake's here. And also that mascot, to take the mascot head off, guess who it is? Hornet. Hornet was also at the same wedding that uh, turns out Ladybug was also at that wedding where, uh, bad, uh, where bad Wolf was. And honestly, the, the wolf, that's his name, the wolf. It's Bad Bunny who plays the wolf. I got those names confused. But they're both at the wedding, so he immediately recognizes who they uh, are. And then it's a whole like fight, like, okay, psh, I, got a, I got a serum, I got a syringe full of uh, venomous serum, and I'm gonna get you. Psh, psh, psh. There's a whole like fight, you're like, oh, don't get that needle on me, uh, uh, uh. And it accidentally gets just a little bit of the needle into Ladybug, but just a little bit. He takes the needle, then gets Hornet, and then Hornet, I'm like, okay, awesome, you're gonna die. She takes the uh, an anti-venom, stabs him in the neck with it. And I'm like, oh, you uh, did you have like another syringe that you thought was full of snake venom, but you grabbed the wrong one? And now he's safe from the snake venom, and you're bleeding from your eyes. And I'm like, whoa, this is awesome. I should also mention, very vibey train. Like, wow, there's like so many cool lights. Each train is like, there's a light. Or a, one of the trains has like pink and blue light, which I really like. I'm like, this is amazing train. I want to be on this train. And then there's also, well, uh, a sleep train, which is a little bit cooler in, uh, in atmosphere, but it's still cool. And then you got like the front of the train. We also have Tangerine and Ladybug do find each other and they're f fighting at the front of the train. And then bam, like a, a worker. I'm gonna call her like a hostess or something. She has like a bunch of uh, uh, carts. She's a cart full of food on the, like right in front of her. And she's refilling the cart full of food. And she's like, oh, hello. Uh, she's speaking completely in Japanese. But what's super funny, before this, Ladybug had paid some guy like $200 to pretend to be him. And so he's like, all right, I would like a sparkling water, please. 
takes uh, gets a sparkling water and guess who has to pay? Tangerine. I'm like, awesome. It's so hilarious. Oh man, I, I absolutely love it. But then after she leaves, they continue fighting and they are at the front of the train and they hit a button that causes the door to eject and then they're like on the side of the train. But luckily Ladybug has been strapped in and none of them fall out, which is fortunate or quite unfortunate, honestly. Uh, but this, it's just like whole battle, they get back in the train, I'm like, whoa, there's a, the stakes have just in, in, increased. Wow, what a crazy, train scene just like them fl flying by they could fall off at any moment this bullet train is super fast super fast like sonic mind you well the, the prince she kind of uh, is next to that dead body that lemon and tangerine were supposed to protect and she takes the sunglasses off because she was uh, given a pair of sunglasses to blend in she spits on his face i'm like is she in this or not the fact that this is so ambiguous, I'm like, whoa, what is her deal still? It's also time for Ladybug to go back to the bathroom and talk to his handler some more. I'm gonna call the person that uh, he's speaking to the entire time, like a handler, because she is basically telling him what to do. Okay, well, what's the situation? Well, here's the situation. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people just try trying to kill me. There's a, whole, uh, there's a lot of dead bodies. Okay, well, here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna get off the next stop. And there's several attempts to get off at the next stop. But he never is successful because there's always somebody in his way. Speaking of next stop, there's also... Uh, he's talking to Tangerine now. Okay, we are for sure have lost the briefcase. We gotta retrieve it. We're next to the door. And he got Ladybug. Ladybug's like, alright. Let me tell you this thing about how uh, there's a wall in between us and there's a window. There could be a window in between us, so we can, like, understand each other. And, uh, windows, there are doors. He's very confused by this, and doors close, and then he kicks him out of the train, at a train station. And then, amazing work, by the way, where it comes to uh, both Ladybug being very clever. And then, Tangerine runs to the back of the train, and climbs on it and then we see him his attempts to get into the train where he has like smashed the window I'm like dude how are you not falling off this train is going very fast man you have to it must have like the best grip ever how are your hands not cold it must be incredibly freezing and he has to punch through a window and he goes into uh, the train I'm like all right you're back on the train how amazing we also have a uh, lemon He's also uh, talking to the prince now. He's been drinking the Fiji water that has sleep potion in it. And hello, prince. And all oh, looks like uh, the father is here. He doesn't know the name of the, the character next to the prince, but it's the father. And you know what the prince tries to do? He's making me hostage. Ah, oh, I'm, woe is me, I'm victim. Ah, oh, woe is me. Ah, oh, blame him, shoot him. Actually, if I were, if I knew anything about Thomas the Train Engine, it's that they teach you metaphors about people. They teach you everything that you need to know about a person. And you are the Diesel. Diesel's like the bad guy. I personally have not watched Thomas the Train Engine, but he does a really good job of explaining like, Diesel is the bad guy and he labels hit her as Diesel, and he's about to shoot her, and then he gets all sleepy, and then, you know what she does? She takes his gun and shoots him three times. Like, whoa, come on, Prince. Ah, and then he want to drag his body to a bathroom, uh, place that body next to the father, and just kind of like hide out there. I'm like, oh, great. Amazing. Tangerine's gonna go uh, get the prince now. Does encounter the prince. Hey, I thought that Lemon was dead. You have killed him, obviously, because you got the diesel sticker on the back of your head when you turn around. Uh, it's you, actually. Well, Ladybug, there's a, a other plot that's happening where he's trying to stop the train. And he uh, sets the emergency brakes on. And that... Uh, allows 
Tangerine to like fall to the side and then he's not able to stop the prince and he's like, oh no, ah, well, I don't want to die. Ladybug comes back. He's like, all right, well, it's a, uh, I don't want to kill you, Tangerine, but you're going to accidentally die by my hand. And I don't want that to happen, please. I don't want a bird to have killed more people. Ah, oh, I already killed the wolf. I already killed the hornet. I've already killed a, a multitude of animals and insects that exist. I don't want to kill fruit either. I mean, honestly, I think they have like the best naming convention. You got lemon, you got tangerine. I'm in salad, by the way. I highly appreciate their names. I think their names are awesome. And I think we should have more names like this in the media. Also, also one final attempt to get off the station. But guess who uh, leaves them there? The prince. Ladybug's like, all right, let's go, let's get off, let's get off the station. And the prince is like, oh no, I left my bag. And I'm like, that must be fake. You must be like really wanting to keep him on here. Who like catches their bag for a minute straight. And then once the door closes, like, oh, I got it. I got my bag. I did it. He discovers a gun and he's like, oh, I don't think you are who you say you are. But there's also one more character that is introduced at this point. Guess who's here? The elder. Well, the elder is here uh, for the father and his grandson is being threatened and he's here to talk to the prince. And he's like, all right, let me talk to you. All right. You're not gonna threaten my grandson. You know the guy who's going to kill my grandson if you uh, never answered his call? Well, he's now been suffocated by somebody I sent. Also, I want to get rid of the White Death and looks like you want to get rid of him too. He's been alluded to the entire movie, like just like some guy who's really just like a, a, a guy who anyone who's around him just kind of dies if you get in his way. And he has a bunch of henchmen and also, it turns out that the Elder was also there when he killed a bunch of people. And honestly, I'm like, all right, Elder, it seems like you're a cool guy. And now we're at Kyoto. Now we're in Kyoto. We stopped the station in Kyoto. And everyone on board is like, all right, we're gonna go against this white death guy. Lemon is still alive. He had a bulletproof vest on, but Tangerine is no longer. I'm like, that's, uh, that's really sad. You kind of lost your brother there. He thought he lost you. And it's, it's so, so sad, especially when you got a bunch of the henchmen come on board. Well, they start to like get on top of the train and Ladybug just comes out with the briefcase. He's like, hello, I have come with briefcase. And then he gets handled roughly. He's like, you don't have to do that. You don't have to be so uh, rough with me. And you got a couple of hench guys like open the briefcase do it do it now and i like the cutaways where these henchmen are like are you sure it's not a bomb it could be a bomb like why do they want us to open the briefcase just to see if it's like money or anything and while this is happening then there's a big old explosion because you remember the time where uh the prince rigged that briefcase with explosives if you open it then bam big explosion the train goes uh, forward because I really like this line from Len a Lemon. He's like, Thomas, the tank engine only teaches you about uh, metaphors about people, not how to drive an actual train. And all the instructions are in Japanese and he doesn't read Japanese. And he does eventually figure out how to get this train going. And while this train is going, it's a really fun, uh, like knife katana scene of Elder versus the white death the elder has like a cane there's moments where they both might die but they also both are like saved it's pretty epic it's honestly epic because well we gotta uh we gotta go fast we gotta stop this train we gotta go slower i don't know how to make this train go slower says lemon and then some like a ridiculous shot oh no we're going down the wrong way oh no there's another bullet train coming this way and that bullet train goes above this bullet train. And it's a cool scene. It gets like some of the guys on the top off, which is fun. And I'm like, oh no, is there like an end of the track? What is this bullet train uh, track end? Because of obviously it has to end. There's a, there's a bullet train coming this way. 
So I'm just thinking, oh boy, well, who's gonna die? Lemon is in a fight with somebody and he gets to the point where he falls off out of the train with another guy and into the water. I'm like, oh, is he dead? Is he not? Is this a setup for a sequel? Maybe Lemon is alive, don't know. Can he swim? It, that was a pretty long fall, honestly. And then there's a more moments where we have more swingingness. And then, oh no, looks like the White Death kind of got uh, stabbed. That's not good. Also the White Death, I should probably mention why the prince is here now. She's here to kill the White Death, which is her father. And that guy, that Lemon and Tangerine were supposed to deliver safely, he's her brother. And her brother got a lot more attention than she did, so of course she's like, I want to kill you. And then, you know, also happens? Well, it looks like the train is going through a big old blockade, and the train just kind of like, goes off the rail, and then like, goes to this town, and like, how many people are dead? Oh my goodness. People, some people crawling out of this uh, town. Some people uh, crawling out of this train, too. So there are some spectators, just kind of watching what's happening. And the White Death is uh, lovely executed by not any gun from like pointing at him, but from the same gun that the prince rigged with explosive. He shoots it and then it, his head explodes. This is awesome. I'm like, awesome. This is, a, this is amazing. What's going to happen now? Where's the prince? Oh, there's the prince. He's a, a machine gun. I love the ladies, uh, ladybug's response to her. Hey, have you read any books on a borderline personality disorder? She's like, why? I'm gonna kill you. And then she gets hit by a, tra uh, by a truck full of tangerines. And then he picks up the tangerine. I'm like, awesome, tangerine, where are the lemons? Uh, oh no, ah, I'm so sad about lemon and tangerine. They had the best names. And then guess who's also here? Well, it's actually Ladybug's handler. She's really cute. She brings a cool car, which then gets crushed by a, a, a light, a, like one of those, uh, like, uh, tower, wooden towers. That's what I call it, with like a bunch of electric electricity on it and stuff. And then, oh, we shouldn't be in that car. Maybe fate doesn't want us to be in that car. All right, cool. And then they walk off and that's how the movie ends. And like, whoa, there's just so much happening in this movie all at once. Five characters are introduced and I care about all of them. And like, I'm just like, oh boy, the White Death had set all of these assassins. These are all assassins, by the way, all of them on a train by themselves, which is pretty epic. They're here to kill everyone. I should also mention that Ladybug is not an assassin. He only does smash and grabs. He's not even supposed to be here today. Honestly, just the character development. There is a lot of character growth. I like how everyone just kind of first is fighting against each other and then works together to defeat the White Death, who then eventually dies. I'm like, whoa, what a what an epic tale. Plus the train is cool. The fact that it all takes place on a train, there is like moments where, oh, is this about to be off a train? But no, they're, they're never allowed to step off the foot of the train until it crashes. And Honestly, if you like train movies and you like funny action movies where the dialogue is very funny and lots of action, I do recommend you watching this movie. There are not enough train movies. I wish there were more. And because of the amount of train in this movie, I gotta give this movie a solid 8.8 out of 10. If you like this review, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. The ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer. So if I haven't reviewed it on the channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. So you can request a movie in the comments below, or you can fast check that request at patreon.com slash ASC presents for $20 a month for one movie review per one month or $3 a month for some daily vlogs, all at patreon.com slash ASC Presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grind, go to this link tree right here for some NSFW content daily sets. It really helps with all the daily grindiness of the channel. So go here and until next time I'm in Saw, I'll see you later my salad croutons and bacon bits.